Welcome to the Fundamental of Electronics. In this tutorial series, we will be discussing few problems on bipolar junction transistor. So the first problem in BJT or the transistor is a common base PNP transistor amplifier has an input resistance of 20 ohms and output resistance of 100 kilo ohms. The collector load is 1 kilo ohm. If a signal of 500 millivolt is applied between the emitter and base, find the voltage amplification. Assume that alpha to be nearly 1. So here we can see that the transistor is basically in the common base configuration mode and the supply voltage is given to be 500 millivolt. The input resistance of 20 ohms and the output resistance of 100 kilo ohms are mentioned and the connector resistance is 1 kilo ohm. So the transistor is basically PNP transistor. Now we have to determine the value of the voltage amplification. Voltage amplification means the voltage gain which is basically the output voltage by input voltage. So output voltage we will be calculating at the connector resistance and input voltage is basically the supply voltage. So output voltage we can calculate from the Ohm's law as the product of current multiplied with the resistance of the collector. So let us see the solution. So first we can determine the ammeter current from the knowledge of the input resistance and the supply voltage 500 volt. So the ammeter current is given by the supply voltage divided by the resistance in accordance with Ohm's law which comes to be 25 milliamps. Since here it is told that alpha is nearly 1. So if the alpha is nearly 1 it means all the ammeter current will be flowing towards the collector current and the base current will be negligible. So we will take the collector current to be equal to ammeter current is equal to 25 milliamp. Now since we need to calculate the voltage amplification that is equal to output voltage by input voltage and output voltage is what we have calculated as 25 milliamps multiplied with 1 kilo ohm resistor which gives to be 25 volts. The input is basically 500 millivolt. So the voltage amplification factor is basically 50. This is the gain of voltage. Second problem where we have a common base connection amplifier whose amplification factor is 0.9 and the ammeter current is 1 milliamps determine the value of the base current. So we need to determine what is the value of the base current. Now the given factor that is alpha and the ammeter current we will be using because we know that alpha current gain is the ratio of collector current by ammeter current. So ammeter current and alpha is given and only the unknown is collector current. So collector current is basically alpha times the ammeter current. So D1 alpha 0.9 and ammeter 1 milliamps will get 0.9 milliamps as the collector current. Now from the KCL equation we know that ammeter current is equal to base current plus collector current. So we can find the base current is equal to ammeter current minus the collector current which comes to be 0.1 milliamps. In the third problem which is in the common base amplifier alpha to be 0.95 the voltage drop across 2 kilo ohm resistance which is connected in the collector is 2 volt. So here whatever the resistance is given at the collector of 2 kilo ohms the voltage drop is 2 volt and we need to obtain the base current. So what is the base current here? Now since the voltage and the resistance are mentioned and the collector we can easily calculate the collector current in accordance with Ohm's law. So collector current is equal to voltage divided by the resistance which is 1 milliamps as the collector current. Now the value of alpha is given to be 0.95 so we can relate the ammeter current and connector current in terms of alpha and determine the value of ammeter current as connector current by alpha which comes to be 1.05 milliamps. Now again we can use the KCL equation and find out the base current as ammeter current minus connector current and the answer for the base current is 0.05 milliamps. The fourth problem where we have a transistor, here we need to find the collector current and we need to find the connected to base voltage. So the transistor is basically a silicon transistor. The reason why silicon transistor is mentioned is that we have to take the appropriate value of the barrier potential. So the barrier potential 
of the base emitter region is 0.7 volt because it is a silicon transistor. Now we can apply the KVL equation in the input loop where the emitter voltage is equal to the drop across the emitter resistance IERE plus the base emitter voltage which is equal to 0.7 volt. So we can find out what is the emitter current from this equation as 4.87 milliamps which is equal to emitter voltage minus base to emitter drop divided by the resistance of the emitter. Now since the value of alpha is not given we can take alpha to be close to 1 and say that the connector current and emitter current are approximately equal to be 4.87 milliamps. Now we can apply the KVL equation in the output loop. So the connector voltage is equal to ICRC that is the drop in the register of the connector plus the connected to base voltage drop. Now here the connector voltage is given and the collector current and resistances are given so easily we can calculate what is the value of connector to base voltage which is equal to 12.16 volt. So we have determined the value of collector current as well as connector to base voltage. Problem number fifth where we need to determine the emitter current of the transistor for beta to be 50 and the base current to be 20 microamps. Now since beta given to be 50 the base current is 20 microamps we can convert to milliamps that is 0.02 and hence the collector current is equal to beta times the base current. So we can get 1 milliamps as the collector current. In accordance with the Cassian equation we can get the value of emitter current as summation of base current plus collector current which is equal to 1.02 milliamps. Problem number 6 where we have a transistor it is connected in the common emitter configuration. So we can see that the emitter is common between the input circuit and the output circuit and the supply voltage is given to be 8 volt. The voltage drop across the resistance of the collector is 0.5 volt. So here we have a collector resistance of 800 ohms and the voltage drop is 0.5 volt. The resistance of the collector is 800 ohms. Alpha given is 0.96. We have to determine the connected to emitter voltage and the base current. Now we can apply the KVL equation in the output loop where the connected to emitter voltage we can get it easily from the supply voltage that is BCC minus 0.5. BCC is the DC voltage which is required for the amplification. We will get 7.5 volt as the connected to emitter voltage. Now the connector current we can get because we have already determined uh, the values of required uh, the value of the collector circuit which is equal to 0.5 volt divided by 800 ohms. So here the voltage of 0.5 volt is the voltage across the resistance of 800 ohms. So what is the current flowing here that is the collector current is equal to 0.625 milliamps. Now we know the relationship of beta and alpha is equal to beta equal to alpha 1 minus alpha and alpha given to be 0.96. So beta we can easily obtain as 24. Once the beta is obtained we can find out what is the base current in terms of the connector current using the relationship that base current is equal to connector current by beta that is equal to 0.09626 milliamps. Problem number 7 where we need to determine the collector to base voltage if the transistor is basically a silicon transistor so that we can take the barrier potential to be 0.7 volt and the beta is 150. So first we are going to apply the KVL equation in the primary loop and here it is a common emitter configuration the transistor is. So we can apply the KVL equation in the primary loop and we can find out the unknown quantity that is the base current from the first equation on the KVL. So it will comes to be 430 microamps as the base current. Now we know the relationship of collector current and base current in common, common emitter configuration is collector current is equal to beta times the base current. Beta is 150 and the base current we have obtained as 430 microamps. So collector current we will get 64.5 milliamps. Now we can apply the KVL equation in the output loop. So connected to emitter voltage will be equal to VCC minus the drop in the collector resistance which comes to be 3.55 volt as the connected to emitter voltage. Now note here we need to determine the connected to base voltage. So we can say that connected to base voltage 
is equal to connector to emitter voltage minus base to emitter voltage. So connector to emitter voltage is 3.55 and base to emitter voltage is basically 0 0.7 which is the potential drop in the barrier and which is the final answer is 2.85 volt as the connector to base voltage. Next problem, now here we have a transistor where the collector voltage is set to be 12 volt and the collector resistance is 6 kilo ohms. So here with the collector voltage is 12 volt and collector resistance is 6 kilo ohms. We have to determine the Q point that is the quotient point. If the zero signal the base current is 20 microamps and beta given to be 50. So why zero signal is given because we need to determine the load line and in the load line the two points which we need to determine that is the cutoff point and the saturation point can be obtained from the no signal concept. Once the value of this load line is obtained, now this is the actual curve of the transistor current. So this one, this point where the intersection of the load line and the current curve will intersect, that will be the Q point. This we have already discussed in the lecture class. So here let us see, uh, once we apply the KVL equation that is collected to emitter voltage is equal to VCC minus IC into RC. Now note here we are all applying passive sign convention that we have discussed and uh, through it proper sign convention we have to take. So in this fundamental equation of the KVA which we have applied in the output loop, if first time we mean the collector current to be zero. So one case we will be getting as when the collector current is equal to zero VCE at connector to emitter voltage is equal to VCC equal to 12 volt. So this is what we are getting when setting collector current to be zero. In the second case, when we set that connector to emitter voltage is zero, then we will get the connector current is equal to 2 milliamps. So 12 volt and 2 milliamps are the condition or the points which we are getting from the KVL equation setting connector current zero and connected to emitter voltage zero. So in the curve of collector current versus connected to emitter voltage, the two points that we have got, that is the 12 volt, which is the cutoff point and 2 milliamps, which is the saturation point, we have got it. Now these two points, if we get, then we can easily draw the load line. Now this is the load line. Now we can determine what is the base current, which is given that is 20 microamps when the signal is not there. So it is 0 0.02 milliamps and the collector current is beta times the base current coming to be 1 milliamps. So if we get 1 milliamp the collector current and these point when intersecting the load line and when we fall here that will be the voltage of the collector to emitter voltage. So again that we can get it in terms of the equation that is collector to emitter voltage is equal to ECC minus ICRC that is the carrier equation so that comes to be 6 volt. So here the point of intersection is basically the Q point. So we can see that the cosine point is basically 6 volt and 1 milliamps. So this is the point or the cosine point or the point of rest where the transistor will be in actual operation. Now problem 9, uh, the last problem for this tutorial where we need to determine the base current, connector current emitter current and all the voltages connected to emitter voltage, connected to base voltage, base to emitter voltage for the transistor configuration shown. So here we can just note down uh, the terminals. So this will be base, this will be emitter and this will be connector. And all the resistances and the voltages are mentioned. So let us see how to solve it. First we will assume that it is a silicon transistor and hence the base to emitter voltage is one sign. So the collector current is basically beta times the base current. We know the relationship in terms of beta. And since beta is given to be 99, so collector current will be 99 times the base current. We can make this one as the first equation. Second equation, we can relate the emitter current and the base current as beta plus one into base current. So we get 100 times IB. So this is the second equation. Now we have got the first equation and the second equation of the collector current and the emitter current. Now applying the KVL equation. So once we are applying the KVL equation that is 5.7 volt minus uh, the drop across the 10 kilo ohm register and the base to emitter voltage and the drop across the 2 kilo ohm register, we apply the KVL equation. Now note here, 
in this equation, the base to emitter voltage is already given 0.7 volt and emitter current is basically a function of base current. So this equation is basically the function of the base current. So we can calculate the base current from the KVN equation as 23.8 milliamps. Once we have got the base current, this base current uh, we can easily substitute in the collector current and the emitter current because both are function of the base current. So we will get the collector current as 2.356 milliamps and the emitter current is 2.380 milliamps. And then we can determine the collector voltage from the KVL equation, which is equal to 8.34. So collector current is easily obtained and the drop IC into one we can calculate because one kilo ohm is the register here. Similarly, we can apply the KVL equation of emitter voltage and collected to emitter voltage. So collected to emitter voltage will be nothing but VC minus me. So this when we subtract, we get 3.58 volt. Finally, the collected to base voltage is basically collected to emitter voltage minus voltage of the base to emitter. That is equal to 2.88 volt. Uh, this complete the fundamental of electronics BJT problems. So totally we have three lecture series this triple e. We have discussed the semiconductors, the diodes and the bipolar junction transistor. So that is for the basic electronics for the first year BTEC triple E program. Thank you for now.